I'm Ryan Shank from Palmyra Farm. We're located in Hagerstown, Maryland, right off of Interstate 70 and 81 Cross, about two miles south. Uh, we're a working dairy farm with registered cattle, Ayrshire's and Holsteins, milking about 160, about 300 total head on the farm. I would be a fourth generation. I'm in charge of all the herd health and some management aspects as far as all the breeding, calf feeding, veterinarian work, health work with the animals. I also contract the feeds and do orders for the farm and I do all the semen orders and some, most of the Holstein sales is my involvement here. The cheese operation is run by my aunt Mary Creek and her son Michael. After that the farm, they buy milk from the farm, have it processed off-site and brought back into their cheese products that they choose and they do all the marketing and all the sales of that. All of our crops are custom done by a creek bound farm. Uh, we buy, we rent them the ground and we purchase basically all of our feed back. Everything is purchased, nothing is done on farm. Um, we don't have any of the machinery to do it or the labor forces, so all we do is concentrate on cows. Uh, creek bound does all of our forages most of our grains and some of the hay. They do all the straw. We also contract out the rest of the hay. Um, the commodities, we try to contract them through different feed mills and feed companies. We do it that way because of the expense of the machinery plus the time of machinery. Um, when we did do all of our crop work, either the crop suffered or the cows. And when one suffers, the other one doesn't do any good anyway. So we figured we can concentrate more on the cows, get more money at that, make the cows work harder for us. In turn, we also get a better forage, more consistency, better quality. And we can also kind of control our prices a little better by not doing it all ourselves. And we're not so pressed for time and it's not as much wear on us to do all the work. The risks and challenges of the dairy industry, most of, the, most of it is your feed cost in your milk price. Nothing is really guaranteed. Even with contracts, your margins are so small. Um, and that's your biggest thing is your margins, trying to protect your income over feed costs or income over production. And then you have just the random stuff that happens that affects your cows, that you have to manage that, along with the other expenses, machinery repairs, and so forth. To manage all that, like I said before, we do contracting. Um, I'll call different brokers, different feed mills, and try to lock in our feed prices at a level that we know we can manage the cows and hopefully the milk price enough to break even or make a little money per hundred weight. Um, the other tools are the gross margin insurance through uh, farm service agencies, but those only come into effect on a larger scale through like the margins on Chicago Board of Trade and so forth. Those give you a good protection to a point, but unless you manage your feed cost, that insurance really isn't going to help you a whole lot. Then there's also contracting milk um, through different programs. The milk company has is the ones that we use where we can lock in a certain milk price. Uh, we pay a premium for it. And that again allows us to play a little more with the feed end of it. So those are the two programs that we use the most. And the thing we have learned is you gotta keep doing them. Even if you lose money on one end, you'll gain it back somewhere else. Just history shows that the fluctuations, you're just hoping for an average so you can't get burned and then just completely stop because then you'll miss, you'll get burned twice where getting burned once is hard enough, you don't need to do it again. So that's how we manage our risk. And then just trying to keep the cows healthy and their production at a consistent level. And that gives you a better idea of what your milk check is going to be if you can keep the same uh, production levels close to throughout the different months. So that's how we manage or try to manage things. There is no right or wrong way to it, but that's what we try to do. 
Why do I do it? I like cows. There are plenty of rewards through cows. The different matings you make, and in nine months you get a calf. What that calf turns out to be. Um, selling, breeding stock, and producing. You actually see an end product of what you make. I I can't be in an office. I'd go nuts. Um, school was bad enough. I don't like traveling the roads, and I work hard for what I get. Nothing's really given to me, and I feel that more of a sense of accomplishment, um, not entitlement, but accomplishment for what I get, whether it's selling a cow for money or just getting the milk checks. I know I worked for that money. It, nothing was given to me for doing nothing. So that's why I do it. Um, there's a lot of sweat, a lot of blood, a lot of long hours. But to me, it's worth it.